1966, Mao takes millions of ordinary teenagers and turns them into Red Guards, sending them out on a rampage to destroy everything old and bourgeois. The Red Guards went wild, doing all they could to fulfil their mission from Mao. But then, once they were done, Mao banished them to the remotest corners of China to live and learn from the peasants. 17 million saw out their teens in the countryside. For some, it would be 10 years before they came home. Mao's Red Guards, now middle-aged, gather to remember the past. After years of wanting and trying to forget, the class of 66 now feel a strange nostalgia for their past. Like our baby boomers, China's 60s generation dominates the economy. And all over Beijing, restaurants are raking it in by playing on the best years of their lives. The restaurant even runs a special register to put members of the class of 66 together again. Tazajo but the restaurant is full of China's Generation X trying to share the feeling. Most of us want to have this uh, period time of the hard times, but uh, it's a uh, for me it's a short time, not too long. You earn money now. You have a good job. Mm -hmm. You have a comfortable life. Yeah. Why would you want to go to hard times? Why? We think. Just, just in life, we must turn over the difficult, and we can get a successful some business or the other life or the, some perspective.那么这一代人很脆弱，嗯，他们不知道社会上还有很多艰辛，人生的路途上还有很多的困难，你得让他们扭转这个思想。Changing that was the point behind one of this summer's more bizarre activities for Chinese teens. 暑假期间,他作为老三界的子女,有机会到父亲当年生活过的地方,内蒙古自治区. Meet 11-year-old Song Ning. His father was sent to Inner Mongolia during the Cultural Revolution. And that's where Song has just spent his summer holidays. The trouble is, Song Ning looks like he had a good time. The nearest he got to hardship was when the bus got bogged. This is a story the kids are being sold. That during the Cultural Revolution, life was terribly hard and kids today have never had it so good. But not everybody is selling the same story.
Wang Shuo is arguably China's most popular writer. Not with the authorities, they dislike him intensely, but with the young. His stories celebrate the hooligan life. <laughs> Wang Shuo grew up during the Cultural Revolution. Too young to be a Red Guard, he enjoyed the years of chaos, and now he's made a movie about it. Right now, Wang Shuo's movie is with China's censors, and at a time when young people are being asked to learn from the hardships of the past, it's hard to imagine they'll like it. Wang Shuo and the old Red Guards agree on one thing. The kids today are certainly missing out on something. Oh,